Welcome everybody to the introduction to psychedelic therapy training program by Inward Bound. I'm delighted to be here today giving this presentation on um, the transpersonal paradigm or the transpersonal perspective. Um, my name is Martin Duffy. I um, run the Irish Centre for Shamanic Studies here at Dunderry Park and it's also the home of the Transpersonal Institute. Um, I've trained in um, Jungian psychotherapy, um, holotropic breathwork with Stanislav Groff, and I worked in the HSE as a community mental health nurse for 35 years in adult mental health. So my main focus of interest would be on transpersonal psychology, shamanism, and I've worked deeply with Stan Groff, so I would have a lot of um, familiarity with his um, teachings on psychedelics, particularly LSD, which he began working with by, way back in the 50s and 60s. And in fact, holotropic breathwork evolved out of his work with um, psychedelics originally. So I'd like to start with these quotes by these two well-known um, men here, first one from Carl Jung, when he says, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. And Groff says something kind of similar. He says, consciousness does not just passively reflect the objective material world. It plays an active role in creating reality itself. So what um, we're basing those ideas on is the idea that um, what we hold within ourselves, the psychological rule that Jung talked about, um, we manifest or we meet in life as fate. And that's what many people talk about, um, holotropic states of consciousness, non-ordinary states of consciousness, psychedelic work, is to bring the unconscious complexes into consciousness in order to cathart and move that energy through in a way that we're no, lo no longer holding it within ourselves as a non-experienced experience or a frozen past. Now today I'm going to take a broad range across the whole trans transpersonal perspective. I'm going to talk about the transpersonal vision in terms of looking at the modern maps of consciousness. We're going to talk about holotropic breathwork, non-ordinary states of consciousness in particular, inner work, the importance of doing inner work and, and how that is really special and important in terms of, you know, working through our inner issues so that we don't suffer the symptoms in our everyday lives like depression, anxiety, stress, relationship issues, and also manifested in our everyday consciousness. Um, we'll talk about past life regression because um, many of the experiences people have in holotropic and non-ordinary states, they revisit what they experience as past lives and they find that it has a huge resonance with what's going on with the complexes that they're dealing with in life today. So we look at the samskara, or the past life issues, the unfinished business, karmic issues that come through um, as part of the overall approach to dealing with the human psyche. And then of course, no, no talk of this kind would be um, you know, appropriate if we didn't have talk on spiritual emergence and emergency because many people nowadays are coming into these states where they feel um, out of sorts. Um, they're in a gradual spiritual emergence which sometimes manifests as an emergency and then they get into trouble. And if they get into the hands of the medical model of psychiatry or psychology, it's often misdiagnosed. Um, and mistreated in, in a way that um, is not beneficial to the individual. We talk a bit about dream work as well. Again, the Jungian idea of the unconscious manifesting itself through the dream time when we're asleep and how the psyche is constantly speaking to us, constantly trying to get messages across to us. And when we decode the dreams and give them attention and we work with them, then we see that we have huge benefits from you know, doing the inner work in that way. And then we talk a bit at the end about the cosmic game. But Stan Groff talks about the idea that this is Leela, Maya. <clears throat> We're in this kind of karmic loop of death, rebirth, and reincarnation coming back in to um, finish unfinished business. And then the whole bigger story or the transpersonal perspective of what is life all about? What is um, uh, the meaning of our existence here? What's the, the meaning in our suffering, for example, or this individuation process that Stan Groff talks about, and of course, um, referring to Jung's work of the individuation process, which is a gradual unfolding of our deeper psyche in a way that we can integrate the shadow into our everyday lives. 
Um, so we'll, we'll cover all these areas. And of course, I'll also talk about my area of speciality, which is shamanism. Because for me, shamanism underpins all of the work we do here in, in, in working with non-ordinary states of consciousness. Go back 100,000 years, some say, you know, in a cross-cultural phenomenon in all cultures. And it's, they were the original um, technicians of the sacred. Um, it's almost like, and I, I would, would say it is like, that um, we're hardwired to have experiences beyond the everyday ego mind, the skin encapsulated ego that um, Alan Watts talked about. Um, we have these abilities and indeed need, and, and, and not only desire, but is essential to our well-being to dive deeper into the cosmic game, into the um, overall reason for our existence, why we're here, finding meaning in, in our everyday existence. That's what Joseph Campbell said. He said that humanity really, what they're seeking is, is, is meaning. It's a search for meaning that we were looking. 